Hey guys, it's Amandeep from Amand Graphics and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a few personal tips on how to improve Google Chrome's performance significantly on a low-end computer. Before I begin, if you do enjoy videos like these, be sure to click on the subscribe button and the thumbs up button down below as it would help support the channel a lot. I hope these tips work for you, however if they do not, I'd recommend that you do not use Google Chrome as your default browser, I'd recommend using Opera browser, which was very famous back in the 2000s, not very much anymore, however it will work really smoothly on a low end computer. Furthermore, if there are any issues you have using these methods, or if you cannot find an option or something like that, comment them down below and I shall try my best to solve them. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Firstly, open up Google Chrome as you usually would, then go into the top right corner where you'll see three dots, click on them and then you should see this tab, this uh, panel appear with all these options. Go on to help and then about Google Chrome. Then you should see a page similar to this. This will check if Google Chrome is up to date or not. In case your um, Chrome is running slow because of a bug related issue, that issue may be fixed on a newer version of Chrome. So if you do not have it updated, you won't have the best possible version of Chrome possible. So if you do keep it up to date, maybe that problem will be fixed and Chrome may be running back to normal if your issue is related to this. So always try this. Once you've got that done, open up a new tab and then X out the other tab. Then go on to that, those three dots again, but then go on to settings once that panel is opened. Scroll all the way down, click on advanced all the way down again. Then you'll see this subheading reset and clean up. I'm sorry if my voice sounds really bad, I have a sore throat. Then go on to um, clean up computer. Once you're on clean up computer, click on find then it will be checking for any harmful software which is affecting your computer and if it affects your computer it will also be affecting the softwares including google chrome i really think i'm losing my voice right now all right so i'm not going to wait until this finishes but if you do have any harmful software it will remove those so that should help improve google chrome's performance as well go back then under the system a subheading you should see both of these options continue running background apps when google chrome is closed and use hardware acceleration when available disable both of these because continue running background apps when google chrome is closed will be running activity on google chrome when it is closed and you do not want that to happen because it will be using more of the ram and that would cause your computer to slow down if you have a short amount of ram on your computer so if you have a low-end PC, I'm expecting you have 4GB RAM. So that's why you should always keep this disabled. Also disable hardware acceleration. Once you've got that done, um, I have two bonus tips for you as well. If you have any extensions which you don't really use, you should delete them. And I'm going to recommend you two extensions as well. So first of all, go on to Chrome and then um, type in extensions. I'll leave the um, link of this in the description down below so you don't need to type this up and waste your time. These are all the extensions uh, installed on Chrome. So I'd recommend that you download both of these two extensions. McAfee Web Advisor would basically manage your activity on Google Chrome. So if you do visit any unsafe website or download any unsafe program from an untrusted source, or you may download a uh, harmful file, it will warn you so you do not download that, which would affect the performance of your computer and if it affects the performance of your computer, then it will also affect the performance of the applications, including Google Chrome. 
Also enable Adblock Plus, install this extension as well. So if you do um, visit any website which um, use ads to earn revenue, obviously. So these people do not care about from which source they're getting ads. It could be a source which even installs viruses on your computer from the advertisements. So um, be sure to get Adblock Plus out. It would block those pop-ups in this case harmful ads which would affect the performance of your computer and google chrome but it doesn't um, block every type of ad it does um, not block some but adblock plus does update so it does uh, become aware of those new type of ads so each time it updates it will um, block those ads as well but obviously the different types of ads and it cannot block every single ad so don't expect it to um, delete all types of ads. If you do have any extensions which you do not really use, delete those as it would affect uh, Google Chrome's performance as well. Okay, now um, I'm going to clear out of extensions and type apps. So these are um, one, two, three, four, four apps which are installed on Google Chrome. Now I could delete all of these because these are useless. I can just use the Gmail website, YouTube's website. If I click on any of these, these will direct me to the website, of course. So these are useless, but I don't really care as it doesn't really affect the performance of Chrome for me. It runs the same with and without. But if it does for you, if you have any um, applications which you do not use to install here, delete all of them, including these all, because you can just use the websites of all of these. Web Store, it will just direct you to the website. So these are useless, delete all of them. Once you've got that done, Google Chrome should be running faster than before. If it does not, I would recommend again you use Opera web browser. Um, you can get it. Um, I'll just go on to the link. I'll leave Opera's uh, link in the description down below. I'm promoting them for free. But here, here's the website of Opera. Download this. This is for low-end computers as well. So it should run really good even if you have a low-end computer. But these options should improve the performance of Google Chrome, the tips I gave you today. Again, if this video does help you out in any way, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as it would help support the channel a lot. Other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out.